gentlemen, I do want to thank uh, the letter writers and Gwen for putting this great conference on, and, and thank you for thank you for coming and listening in. Um, before I get going, uh, you know, we, we talk a lot about uh, the importance of uh, management teams and boards when you're talking about juniors. And as Gwen mentioned, we had radical change in the company about a year and nine months ago, uh, where. I was actually an independent director of the company for about six months. Made some changes, new board essentially, new management team uh, that I built, and we really started the work uh, on revisit revisiting the company about a year and a half ago. Um, and that I'm talking about the actual field work and the drilling. And uh, you know, my my background, I've been involved in James, the James Bay area in Quebec, but uh, I was originally involved as a construction manager at Twin Creeks Mine for uh, New Mod back in the in the 90s. Uh, I was a project manager uh, for the Red Lake Mine, so ended up building the Red Lake Mine for Gold Corp uh, in 99-2000 uh, for Rob McEwen, and then I became the mine general manager at Red Lake uh, from 2000 to 2006, followed to uh, becoming general manager of projects uh, Canada US for Gold Corp, and was responsible for the Eleonore mine in James Bay, Quebec for the first uh, three years, which meant moving it from uh, an exploration play into a uh, pre feasibility study. Uh, and then I followed that with leaving Gold Corp and uh, spending three years as uh, president of uh, Guyana Goldfields and moving that up. So you may have you may have been familiar with some of these plays over the years, but they all became uh, you know world class mines. Um, so I got involved, as I mentioned, a year, nine months ago, took over as president and CEO, and really, this is a really, I mean, it's got the same name, but it's really a different company, it's a different team, uh, and the assets have been largely, I would say, improved and moving forward. And I think that's an important message uh, for you guys. I can, I can go through all the technical stuff and all the details, but it's really important to understand that you've got a very strong team looking at this play and making it uh, a reality moving forward as a you know potential I guess de developer ultimately. So um, this full presentation is available on your stick and on the website as well. So I'm going to be skipping over slides uh, as we go. So I already covered kind of the management strength, the new board, and the new management team. Uh, we are the most aggressive junior uh, in James Bay. Uh, particularly as far as gold. I mean, you've got the Eleanor mine, which is currently producing since 2014, one of the flagship of Gold Corp. But other than that, uh, we have three projects that have the potential to become mines, and you don't have anything else. We've got a lot of explorers poking around, uh, but uh, we have uh, very advanced projects. Uh, we've got great land position, and the three projects are listed there. I'm going to go through them in a little bit more detail, but Clearwater is our main project, as Gwen mentioned, with the Eau Claire deposit. We still have the, we have the East Main Mine, I'm going to talk about that, and then the Eleanor South JV, which is very interesting because we've announced a discovery recently uh, on that property. Uh, so where are we located? This is James Bay, Quebec, uh, again, largely untapped. Uh, from a resource perspective, Hydro-Quebec's been in that backyard for 50, 60 years, building infrastructure, roads, uh, power plants, uh, airstrips, on and on. Uh, so we have good access to our property. That's a key message. We've got road access into all our properties. Uh, a lot of them we have power nearby. So this matters when you look at developing uh, a, a new mine. This is a very good summary slide. Uh, if, if there's any one slide you need to go back to, it would be this one. It really shows where our projects are at, ranks them one, two, three, and really gives the description of, of the key information. You'll notice in the two green boxes, those are the two resources within the company. So we have two now 43101 resources, one main one uh, at Eau Claire, but we've got a brand new one as of two weeks ago uh, at the East Main Mine. And that's a, actually it's a, a gold, uh, silver and copper resource. It's a historic, or, historic resource that we converted into 43101, so a lot of reality there. And you can see the numbers on one side, I'm talking about global resource, uh, 
a measure indicated and inferred about 1.3 million ounces, high grade, by the way, over six grams. And on the other side, on the, uh, at East Main Mine, uh, we have 375,000 ounces, again, high grade in around eight grams, plus 4.6 million um, pounds of copper, okay, within that deposit, and with a lot of potential for growth. Uh, so, so these are very interesting assets for us, and that we're essentially looking at moving them forward, with the priority being Clearwater Eau Claire. Uh, so when we think of the company, uh, we have $6 million in the bank, so we're fairly well funded to be able to continue doing what we're doing uh, during the year. Uh, we are covered uh, by seven analysts, uh, actually six. One is pending because they've had a change of analysts, uh, but we're actively covered by these analysts. You can see the rest of our information. We're worth about $60 million right now, uh, which is interesting because for valuation, uh, as Gwen referred to on a, a per ounce basis, it's actually very low. Uh, and we believe that with some of the work we've done, the new resources and the, uh, the PEA coming out on, on Eau Claire, which is going to be in April, late April, uh, I think that'll change uh, our valu valuation over time. So it's a very good proposition. Good list of institutional share shareholders, uh, very solid, ver very well-known names and respected. Um, and we work with them regularly to update them. But if you notice, over 60% of our shareholders are actually retail. And, and we're very happy about that, and this is why we're here, uh, because we want to be here for you. We want to, uh, you to understand what we are doing and how we're going to create value over time. So this is the value opportunity. Much more important than all the technical, I think, is, you know, we... We've had uh, a lot of challenges in the sense of turning this company around. So first of all, we're emerging from a difficult gold market from listening to the different letter writers. A lot of them are saying that this is a turnaround point for gold and some of the other metals. So that's a good thing for us ultimately. Uh, we went through significant changes, but required changes uh, to move things forward. Um, and. You know, we have done recent, in the last year and a half, recent extensive drilling, and it's all paying off because we are now coming out with new resources uh, that are very solid, very realistic, that you can actually move into economic studies uh, with. And on top of that, we happen to also do, have done two discoveries, meanwhile, uh, all this in, in 18 months. Uh, so in, our enterprise value, as I mentioned, is below $40 an, uh, an ounce, when really the average of, of some of our peers is probably in around over 70. So you can see how their potential is a, a change in valuation over time. So all our assets are gold and high grade, six to nine grams, uh, all of them, which will, would bode well uh, if, if obviously the, uh, we're in a turnaround for the price of gold. Um, key message is the important milestones that we have achieved. Four months ago, we came out with a new Eau Claire mineral resource, completely changed that whole project uh, for, for the better, and that's the one we're doing the PA on. And then you made East Main Mine about two weeks ago as well. So the next value driver to remember is the PA coming out in, in April. So the question is, if you're not a shareholder, do you want to get in before the in, we announce the results or after? That's obviously up to you. Uh, but we also have exploration growth on all those projects, so pretty significant there. Um, so what I don't want to do is go through all every the details of each project. You've had a very good summary of what we have. This is all available to you. Uh, this is, by the way, what we're building the PA on. So you can see the open pit at the top, then the underground, well-defined. 75% of the current resource, a million ounces or so, is in the top 400 meters. So this is a very manageable uh, approach for a project. So we want to continue working on that with the expansion potential at depth. So I won't go through the rest of those details. At East Main Mine, there's the new deposit, well, the historic deposit that we've turned into a new resource. Uh, we want to continue to do work. In red is the current resource now. And just up within a one to, well, from zero to three kilometers, up the mine trend to the northwest, you've got tons of exploration potential. We've had success there, including a discovery. 
And to finish up, on Elner South is the newest project. Again, a turnaround, partners with Gold Corp and Azimuth, and we did announce a discovery in October on this property. Fairly significant gold system, very disseminated gold, plus near surface, plus um, high-grade veins, okay? So thank you very much. Uh, this is, as I said, the plan is the PEA coming up, plus more exploration results. Uh, the rest of the year is key for us. We're available, obviously, at our, at our booth uh, for discussion the rest of the day. Thank you. Thank you.